part two. Now notice everything that comes, a lot of them have to stop near me. That one that was in the shopping cart, and this one here has to sort his cans out near me. He just has to pick the spot. And I have videos at the videos. This has been going on so long where they monitor my bones and things. He just has to sort his cans out right here near me. But uh, as I said, my videos on all three of my sites have been uh, scrubbed. And uh, if you go to one of my videos and put in Pearlene Jones, if you want to go to my websites, hit my icon, that picture of me, and it'll take you to my website. And you can see what's going on where um, my videos be been deleted. As I said, I've been making videos about these uh, crazy things, these alien things, these demon alien things since 2015. I've been making videos about uh, this government, police misconduct. And uh, a, a lot of you are probably wondering why I go to the parole office, uh, why was I arrested? And uh, they arrested me on some bogus stuff. And uh, they arrested me December uh, 19, 2017. And uh, it was bogus. And they held me in that West Valley Detention Center. And that, uh, and in that child children prison for over two years. Never allowed me to make a telephone call. Never allowed me to contact anybody at the time. When I was at West Valley, they kept me out of court for eight months at one point before allowing me to go in the courtroom. Eight months. Never allowed me to hire a lawyer or represent myself. Now, on these videos that I put up when I got out on my old website, I, sh I video those paper. Look at it coming back and forth. She has no way to, wear to come back and forth past me. But I, uh, I uh, brought paperwork, documents, when I got a child chiller. And I put those videos up about my arrest and about my court experience. And those videos have been removed. But I'm going to give you a synopsis of the court report. Here we go. This is all day long, especially when I'm recording. And uh, I put up videos of the documentation, videos of my police reports that they didn't give me the right description. They gave me a description of being 5'9", uh, uh, weighing 110 pounds, with black hair. My hair's been gray since, uh, since, uh, for at least 10 years. Even though they got my driver's license on their police report, my description is not me. Um, they have a CIA ID number, a CII, CIA ID number on that police report. They have a FBI number on that report. And then the booking number where they booked me here. Now, uh, I've never been arrested by the CIA or the FBI. So when I was at West Valley, I asked them, what are these CIA ID numbers and this FBI ID numbers? And they said those were, the officer told me those were other law enforcement's booking numbers. They gave me an address here as if I lived in California, even though I've never lived here. But as I said, on those police reports, I uploaded those videos. And uh, they never, they had held me 60, 60 days when they first arrested me. And when I did go in the courtroom, I asked this day people, this PD, to tell the judge I want two things. Number one. I wanted transcripts of my court records. And number two, I wanted to get access to my phone to get my contacts out. So 
I get a, have somebody hire me a lawyer. And as you see, that, well, the video has been removed. On that transcript, the, the judge said, access to transcripts, denied. Access to my contacts, to her attorney, denied. So they denied me the right to hire an attorney. You see what I'm saying? They denied me the right to represent myself. And that is on those videos in them transcripts. As I said, for the two years, over two years they held me, I was not allowed to contact anyone. So now I'm on this parole here. And, uh, but I don't mind. Because it was a learning experience. I got a lot of evidence of what was going on in these detention centers and prisons here in California. 